Silence 2 is releasing on Zee5 Global. It is a sequel, uh, if I can say so, of an uh, interesting mystery franchise. Now, as an actor, as a performer, what do you think is the... What is the thing that attracts you to say yes to a franchise? Because it's already established. If your script is fantastic, if you make a good film out of it, you are making sure that the audience is going to be participating in this journey. Uh, because audience wants to find uh, wants to find the killer uh, before the film ends, right? And they want to pat pat their back that they could do it. And that is why uh, once you make an engaging film, uh, you you are pretty sure that you know the the ride is not going to be uh, only for you. The ride is going to be also for the audience. ACP Avinash Verma, the role I'm doing, it's a it's a it's a it's, it's a police guy who is uh, who's, who's experienced enough in life, who uh, has gone through lots of ups and downs. Nothing came easy to him. He's not somebody very easy to deal with. He, his own life is in tatters. He is separated from his wife. His daughter is uh, living in London. So his life is not all that hunky-dory. It's a, his life has many, uh, uh, you know, many things which are not easy to to settle with, right? Uh, and with that kind of a baggage, he is working on an investigation, right? So uh, when you see this kind of a man, a lonely man, on a job with all his energy and with all uh, uh, all his uh, you know forthrightness and honesty. Uh, that makes it m- far more interesting and also then you know you you want to root for him because you know that he's not coming from a very easy and comfortable place when you get a script do you want to know the backstory of a character you know to get it more real even though it may or may not be so much uh, depicted on in front of the camera if you want to do the characterization you have to work on the backstory Otherwise, each and every you know police guy is going to look the same. And I have said said, said it so many times that I don't play the, the uniform. I play the characters. I have to find the character. I have to find the characteristic of the person of the character to make him to make his journey look very very different to to people. Some of the most incredible work in the last few years have been on OTT for you. Um, do you feel and you've been you've done. TV, you have done films, we have seen some of the most iconic things from you. Uh, do you feel that OTT now uh, has better content? So, I mean, with the advent of uh, uh, OTT, uh, directors have and writers have been uh, experimenting a lot. I have been exper- experimenting a lot in terms of my choices, and it has given me uh, uh, great scripts to deal with, uh, to work on. Uh, it has given me uh, uh, so many opportunities to to really break my own boundary, break my own limitations. I I got to work with some really new talents, uh, like the director of uh, Gulmohar Rahul Chitela or director of Sirfek Banda Kafi hai, uh, Apuru Singh Karki, uh, or or Devashish Makija, uh, and people people are there to to watch those those works and really. Uh, really appreciate it you know that the audience is there you know the audience is waiting for 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 another choice of yours and they are rooting for you so that gives a lot of strength and confidence to you when you're choosing the next one this is coming from a person who in his very early phase gave us Niku Madre he gave us like so many films that most conventional conventional heroes would say no to uh, yet, you think that OTT has better content now? Oh yes, it has. I mean, uh, cinema, uh, you know, somewhere always uh, been very, very re- uh, reluctant. Films are very re- re- reluctant in uh, uh, with the with the experiments. You know, they always try to uh, go on a beaten path, go on go on a path which is which is very uh, conventional, so that you know their their money is back. Uh, uh, and somewhere, you know, uh, money uh, and investment has started playing a very big part uh, with the films uh, in our country. Uh, but it's only OTT who has been constantly giving space to filmmakers 
who are not who are who are not celebrated but you know uh, now they are celebrated so much now they are admired and appreciated so much for for the work that they have done and i am an actor who's kind of a experiment junkie i you know if, if you ask me that this is this is the path you should take it is it is comfortable and it is conventional i'll definitely go not, not take that direction i love to experiment with my own uh, ability i love to experiment with my craft i try to you know break everything that i have done in the past uh, somewhere i find i always found it very boring to do the same thing again don't have a dream role uh, because i i you know when i see you know uh, a uh, common people i i see so many characters around me and i would like to play each one of them but that's impossible right so you are always depending on on a writer or the director who is going to make the next offer to you and you know uh, and then you choose uh, from all all of those offers i'm very careful in in choosing what i you know what, choosing from the next one if you have watched a few of the projects from last year is there a particular favorite apart from joram for you Did you like watching any role or any any film that you thought that last year has been a terrific year for me where you know uh, I started with Gul Mohar and then Kim Silfe Banda Kafi hai and then Joram uh, what more I could ask for um, but uh, apart from my own films if uh, I like something it was uh, 12 fail I I like the effort of the director and, and the writer um, I I like those kind of uh, films where where it talks about the the marginalized people i i know i where, where the middle class person is the hero i just love this struggle of them you know i love uh, uh, the way they are uh, living and working uh, where there are only obstacles and but still there is so much hope uh, in their eyes uh, with which they start their day that is that is something i i find quite fascinating Right. Thank you so much for speaking to me on. Um thank you so much and uh, hope to see more and more of your uh, work on on screen. It's always a pleasure to work. Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you.